You're a big Halloween fan. I think we actually talked about this uh, once years ago. You love Halloween. You take it very seriously. It's my seriously. favorite holiday. Absolutely. And you like to make your own costumes. Yeah, it doesn't feel right unless I kind of do it myself. That's true. Good for you. That's hey, the thanks. spirit of creativity. What kind of costumes are we talking about? I mean, well, my rule in general, so I don't drive myself crazy, is that I have to conceive of and execute the entire costume all on the day of Halloween. Really? So I don't do any, I don't do any planning. I come up with something or like, oh, look, I have a, a fork. I'll make something out of this. And like, so the costume could end up being really brilliant or horrible. And sometimes it is horrible. Sometimes it consists of, you know, a, a fork taped to some newspaper that's wrapped around my head. And, I'm like, and people are like, what are you? And I'm like, I have a fork on my head. What, you know, <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> it's the best I can do. It's a fork. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Deal with it. I, I went through a series where I was just colors. Like one year I was blue, and then the next year I was red. It's you can go to Kmart and just buy everything there that you can find that's one right. color and put it all on and paint your face. And, and then you, you say, know, "I am red." I'm red, and that's it. It, it tends to be a conversation stopper. Yeah. Which <laughs> <laughs> slam. Yeah. No, no candy. Uh, True. All right, we have a, with this photo. I don't oh, know this if this is right. for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, they me this this photo, is yeah. you in a French maid's outfit. That was last Halloween. Yeah, that was it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Very nice. I sort of broke my own rule because I was doing a show that Halloween. I did. I do this thing called Hit Record, and we had a show on Halloween. I was in New York, and uh, I, I came out as a as a French maid. Very nice. Yes, thank we, you. I've always wanted to wear that outfit. Just I haven't thought of a. <laughs> An excuse yet, <laughs> especially not outdoors. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, a movie that I am uh, I'm obsessed with, which is the Lincoln movie that uh, that I know that you are in. Yeah, that, it's Steven Spielberg's uh, take on Abraham Lincoln. I heard you're into the Civil War period. Very in into this period, and uh, and of course Daniel Day Lewis in this film plays Lincoln. Yeah. You play his eldest son, Robert. Right. Robert. Um, what's it like, I, I'm just, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis is such a fascinating character to me, what was it like to act with him? What's his process like? Because I've heard he's method, did he become Lincoln? He kind of did, I mean, he's not silly about it, you know, right. he knows that you're on a movie set and whatever, but he does, uh, he does stay, like, talking in that voice. He spent a year coming up with how he wanted the voice to sound, and he doesn't, I never heard his voice, and I never called him Daniel, until I was lucky enough to be there on the last day of shooting, and so I got to watch him shed the character. And That's I, so interesting yeah. to me. So he would talk as Lincoln, and you would all address him as what, Mr. President? Steven Spielberg, yes. would be like, Mr. President, can you take a step to the left? Yep. That is so I would just say sir, because he was my dad. Right. But, yeah. That's fascinating to me. Yeah, well, I mean, again, he's not, like, silly about it. Right. You know, he'll, he'll, you know, chat or make jokes in between takes or whatever, but... But as Lincoln, kind of. Kind of. Like, yeah. you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to, like, go up to him and be like you know, oh, did you see, uh, you know, did you see the Avengers or whatever? Like, you know, he wouldn't probably What wanna, is this Avengers you, you're talking yeah, yeah. about? <laughs> That's exactly how he sounds. That is all I'd be doing the whole time. I'd be like, look, an airplane! Yeah. Yeah, oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> what witchcraft is this? But, uh, but no, like, if, yeah. you, if, you, if there's, like, a painting on the wall or something, he'd be down to talk, be like, oh, look at that, you know, or something. Sure, he'd sure. Be, he wasn't silly about it, but right. he, he definitely, he's really focused. And you are going to play uh, your, when the movie comes out, you will be his eldest son, Robert, who that's he had right. a strained kind of relationship right. with. Well, he was kind of an absent father. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's a cool thing about this movie is, you know, Abraham Lincoln is such an icon in American culture. Up on Mount Rushmore, on mm -hmm. our $5 bill, we, we turn him into this hero, this kind of absolute angel. And he was a human being like every other human being. And I, I, I really admire Stephen for taking the approach with this movie and, and painting him as a human being, somebody who had to make compromises, who was being told that he was a bad person yeah. from all sides of the spectrum. And all he was trying to do, I mean, uh, he, the, the movie's about the month leading up to the passing of the 13th Amendment that banned slavery. Uh, and he had to make all sorts of moves and do all sorts of like questionable things yep. to pass uh, had this. To make had to make a lot of compromises, yeah. and, uh, and his own, as you said, his own personal life or his relationship with his eldest son, not perfect. Yeah, exactly.